Hi Nico, how are you? Great hosting again. Yeah, talagang you're so. Yeah, Universe, Miss Universe Extravaganza. Talagang forte mo na talaga yung hosting ngayon. Not just hosting a lot of events here, but you're gaining a lot of... Yeah, you're going international na rin. Especially with the recent Miss Universe Extravaganza held in Bangkok a few weeks ago. Tell us more about it. It's a uh, um, unique experience. Kasi, as you guys know, I hosted for Miss Universe Philippines for two years now. Announcing the final 30 and then the gala dinner. Tapos, na-realize ko na I'll be hosting for Miss Universe Global. So it's just really a fantastic experience. So something I dream of. How did you get the part? I mean, how did you get contacted to host the Miss Universe? That is such a huge event, huh? especially in Thailand. Where it's such a Miss, Miss, Miss Universe crazy pageant country. Nagkataon lang, actually, because I uh, went to Thailand in June for a project. Uh, mga guesting sa JKN, uh, sa shopping network, and then promoting some of their products. Uh, so I was able to meet Anne, the owner of JKN, and the staff of JKN. And then it just so happened that she's owner after that, right? Two months after they like, announced that she's owner. Um, and they, they knew that I host, uh, and they liked my hosting sa network nila. And they also knew that I hosted for Miss Universe Philippines, so they invited me to come back. She's an amazing person. Uh, she's one of a kind, actually, to be honest. Because she's the CEO of JKN. And she's also an actor, and or, sorry, not an actor, an artist that is very popular in Thailand and globally. So it's fun watching how she wears two different hats. Um, and she's really got an awesome personality. So bring down to earth, Sha. Uh, from the first moment that I met her, she really treats you like you're important and with respect. When, when you were hosting shopping programs, did you already have an inkling that she might eventually buy or purchase the Miss Universe organization? Um, Wala akong idea. I'll, I'll keep it at that. Wala akong idea. Um, of, course, of course, I heard murmurs that she might be owning Miss Universe um, after I left Thailand on the first time. Not when I was there, though. What other man word that she would be hosting? Um, but I did hear, because I mean, the pageant industry is very chisposo. So uh, they like to talk about what's happening in the future and what's going on. So I did hear um, from other people that she might be owning Miss Universe. And it's cool about Miss What is that, Mr. Scoop or cheese, please. Scoop or cheese, please. Yeah, uh, can you share some scoop or cheese, please, in the saddle? Uh, that I heard when I was in yeah, Thailand? Yeah. About, uh, about the universe. About the forthcoming Miss Universe edition in Thailand. Uh, the, the one coming up? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, in New Orleans. Uh, uh, what, what are things that I can say without, without getting in trouble here? Eh? <laughs> Baka magalit sila eh. What are they doing? Yeah, because I, I mean, you guys watched it, right? There were six Miss Universe winners that attended from all over the world. So JKN literally flew them in for that specific event. So it was really special and actually groundbreaking because I don't think they've had events in, the, in previous Miss Universe uh, where all the winners come. Um, so it was really cool meeting them actually and talking to them and interviewing Ketrona Gray and sitting down with Harnas Sandu. Uh, they're really amazing ladies and they're not exactly what you see on TV. They're a little more personable than you would think because I think people's persona uh, or sorry idea of a beauty queen is very uh, maybe plastic or, or fake at times or saying what people want to hear. But they're really personal people and they're really smart. <laughs> was just versus the brand and is about to make a lot of changes for the upcoming competition. Especially at that we got in my interviews where she was saying a lot of things about how she will figure in the upcoming competition, even crowning, possibly crowning the new winner. Yes. So it's now based on how on the on the on the limitation, based on how you have met her so far, how is she as a boss, as a boss lady? And how do you think I, her she can maneuver Miss University data? A great question. Sobrang motivational siya. In like, she motivates me to be a better talent almost. Because uh, sobrang uh, hardworking and focused on making Miss Universe a bigger brand and sort of picking it up again because in all honesty, Miss Universe has been kind of going down a little bit. Um, although it's always it always will be a household brand, um, 
she really has a, a plan of bringing it up again and making it something that's more um, approachable to the millennials because again that's really our bigger audience now and, and what they're trying to reach out to uh, so she's really big on that as well as uh, pushing equality uh, because she's a transgender right so she represents a big community the LGBTQIA plus community so she hasn't forgotten about them I mean she really wants to um, push inclusivity and equality uh, that's why she actually had Angela Ponce which was the first ever person to commit, uh, compete in Miss Universe right so Things like that, uh, women empowerment, she'll continue to push with, with Paula and Amy uh, still at the helm of things of this universe, right? So big things going forward. You're definitely going to be seeing a lot of changes at Miss Universe. So you think she's a big, she's a big positive change that the pageant fans are looking for in Miss Universe right now, especially? Definitely. I, I think, I mean, not anything against the previous owners or management of Miss Universe, right? But Omeja outdated Nisha. I think it's time for a change just to mix things up and bringing it here in Asia is a really good idea because the pageant industry is freaking huge here. Like Thailand, uh, uh, Malaysia, Philippines, I mean these are huge hubs for Miss Universe so why not bring it to Asia um, and give the people, Asians, more of a voice. Wow, I feel like you're in the you're in the right place at the right time. Because who knows, you might we might see you hosting Miss Side events of Miss Universe in New Orleans in the near. I mean, ganon talaga. I think this business that we're in is just all about being in the right time at the right place. I mean, there's just so much kalaba and there's so many people competing for the same job. Um, I mean, your job security is never never there, right? You just go from project to project, diba? So, um, I was in the right place at the right time and uh, I always I was saying kanine, good things happen to good people. So, so good. I'm saying I'm a good self-proclaimed. But, um, yeah, I think this is a big opportunity for me going forward. I'm really excited. Hopefully, I can be a part of the Miss Universe 2023 happening in, in New Orleans. Uh, it would be awesome just to be somehow be a part of it. Uh, a backstage host or, or for prelims. Um, so hopefully they're listening right now and, uh, and stuff. So I want to be a part of it. I'm absolutely thrilled to really, to really meet her in person very, very soon. And through your kind words about JKN, I think, you know, all, I, I think a lot of pageant fans will really have a change of heart of how they think about Miss JKN. Hopefully, hopefully. I, I mean, Anne is just a great representation of everyone, I think, uh, and, and for women to look up to. Um, and that's what Miss Universe is really about, right? It's about women empowerment. Uh, and, and for young women to look up to somebody, I think she's a good person for that. As well as I'm, I'm really happy to represent the Philippines. Like, ang daming Filipino sa extravaganza. And they're all coming up to me telling me that, you know, they're so proud of me that I'm from the Philippines and, and, and everything. So I, I feel, kahit hindi ako Filipino, right? Um, I'm an Italian Canadian, but I, I really feel Filipino. I mean, over the last six years, I've ingrained myself in the culture and, and tried to, to be like a Filipino by learning the language, uh, learning the culture and traditions. So going forward, it's, it's just an honor to represent this country. Can I ask you one more question? Because since you mentioned um, Italy and you Leste Cortesi earlier, yes. and then you saw the six other Miss Universe winners last time, kaya ba ni Celeste, I mean, if kaya ba talaga ni Celeste, uh, Manalo ng crown based on how you have seen the past winners in Bangkok. I mean, Celeste is very strong. Um, she's got a great look. Uh, she's well spoken. I feel like she has a flair that will catch the judges' attention. Pero it's very competitive this year. I'm telling you, uh, Colombia, Venezuela, um, Mexico, uh, Ukraine. There's just a lot of really good girls. And I've, I did. Yes, yeah, she was there. Um, she looks great. I think I would I would bet Celeste over Miss Thailand to be honest. But they both look great. Uh, nothing against Miss Universe Thailand. But na palakas mo loob namin. I mean, major bias ng opinion ko, of course, because I'm pushing for Filipino. But um, to make a long story short, I think she's got a great chance, uh, especially for top ten. Um, I think you guys will see her popping into the top ten further on. Um, who knows? I mean, it's always a toss-up, right? It's based on the question and answer and how they perform in the moment. So, think that Nathan. All right, we'll keep you any longer. Thank you so much, Nico. Thank you for allowing us to ambush interview.
Oh, why should you book me? Because I'm a unique experience, and. I did not. I. I did But I said also, I said also. I don't. I'm not being mayabanga. I just. I feel like there's nobody in this country like me in terms of hosting the way I deliver. Uh, because I'm not Filipino, but I speak the language. I can speak in English. I can speak in Filipino. Um, and also, it's about connecting to your audience. Eh? Uh, I want to create something that's not boring, and that you know, parang everybody sees sa lahat ng events nila. So if you book Nico Loco, you're definitely going to have a fun and uh, touching experience. Also, you can get me for uh, acting as well. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm with Viva, and uh, acting is actually my passion, not hosting. Uh, I started off as an actor in, in Los Angeles for three years uh, before I came out to Asia. So um, uh, it's kind of a mix-up, you know. Halo halo talaga. But I, I enjoy both. Yeah, you guys can check me out on Instagram, Ako po si Nico. On Facebook, Nico Loco. I'm starting to vlog as well. Uh, sobrang makulit ako sa vlog. And uh, as well as YouTube, Nico Loco. And TikTok, Ako po si Nico. Maraming salamat po. And uh, see you Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Oh my! Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Thank you guys. Salamat. Salamat.